Otep, I am that I am. Some call me Haru. Just wanted to touch bases with you once again. Sitting and relaxing. 100 degrees. <laughs> it's crazy. Just wanted to touch bases, let you know that uh, I just released a new website uh, called HaruAman.info. And it's basically like a philosophy site, just kind of giving you some some background and some things of what I think, how I think, or whatever the philosophy key thing. The key thing is this. Obviously, I'm influenced by other people, too. That's what we got to realize, too, especially with technology, information, philo other philosophy, history, whatever. But one thing we got to realize, too, that, you know, our health, that's what I'm going to talk about a little bit. Our health is very important. You know, I've been encountering a few people who has actually some health problems, and it's sad to see them in that. You know, it's kind of hurt your heart when you see older people like that, you know, people dealing with that, you know, worked hard all their lives, and you know what I'm saying? And now they're in a situation where you basically got to take care of them, and vice versa. Somebody got to take care of them, just like we born, and, you know, as a baby, we got to come back, you know, somebody's taking care of us during them periods of times. Now we get, it's the, you know, all the way, you know what I'm saying? The cycle, the life cycle, and that one thing I can say too definitely people life is motivational I mean we literally life make you do some crazy stuff man literally get you out here start you know <laughs> keeping you up on your grind if you really true to yourself I think you know and that's my opinion that's my take on it but I think when you true to yourself you start seeing things that really come really evident to you that you know your health is very important so that's one thing I wanted to stress today. Just kind of really, man. I stay, I stay in the gym. Literally, I stay in the gym. I, uh, I might look skinny and all that, but I'm like Bruce Lee, baby. I'm just like Bruce Lee. <laughs> but at the same time, you definitely got to keep up on your health. That's very important. You know, one thing. I, that's one thing I want to just stress today is keep up on your health. Like I said, we just releasing this new website, and this basically website is just about. It's going to be talking about a lot of variety things and you can always see all the websites we're doing I mean techno is probably the bread and butter though that's basically our main site where it's a network of sites it's a network of uh, um, podcasts where you can go to learn some things especially in technology I mean we got my sovereign world there what me and brother Nas is talking about different issues you can actually get in on our conversations what we usually talk about when we're talking about autonomy you know how to live and what we're doing uh, we are working on some big things I got some things going on right now in the palm of my hands what I've been doing especially what you know doing all this traveling I've been kind of setting up shop getting some things networking with folks kind of getting to know folks kind of getting some uh, some skills behind me far as um getting getting free getting as autonomous as I can and I'm talking about via you know off the grid completely that's what we're going to be talking about matter of fact the next um, podcast we actually going to be going over some plans and we're looking for pre-qualified people people who actually want to be autonomous for their own life not literally including no government associations no government organizations this is straight up off the grid completely and we're looking for pre-qualified folks who's actually about their business really who's really have a, a tendency who want, who like building things who like creating their own app environment that's really where it comes down to and like I said I know people are watching this I know I get a worldwide view on uh, YouTube's and all the websites I know we're doing I mean because people are responding to me all over the country all over the world actually so I mean I want you to get an understanding of what's going on what we're doing here in the geographical landmass of America um, there are some folks out here who's really um, who want to be off the grid, who want to be away from this government, not necessarily away from the government, but stop allowing them to take care of you. That's that's the whole key thing. We get in this tendency where we want people to, you know, help us do this, help us do that, help us do that. Don't take me wrong. If it's for a good reason, it's a different, that's a different story. But at the same time, we get to really start getting more independent. This is what this country was built off, even though they came and stole it. <laughs> 
but at the same time we got to realize what that so-called free enterprise was about you know what I'm saying it was about living your own life literally living the life according to your will you know unless don't I mean you know we don't have to you know you don't have to kill steal destroy hurt anybody's property take anybody's property that's the golden rule you feel what I'm saying but at the same time we got to understand what's really going on you know we have an opportunity here in so-called America to take advantage of and that's the that's the whole genius if you really want uh, <laughs> peace love and happiness you know you have to actually give it that's the key thing we have to give it so I sit here and I give these videos because the videos I think is more informative. It's not literally, this is what you need to do, this is what you need to do, boom, boom, boom. But it is informative. We want to let you know that there's people out here that's literally making it happen, doing their independent thing, staying off the grid completely, not uh, relying on Social Security, not relying on their bank, not relying on their... <laughs> All these different issues we got going on in so-called America, you know, but we allow this U.S. corporation to control every aspect of it, you know, and that's the problem, literally, because we gave them the power instead of keeping our power as we do as autonomous people. We have to keep that power. You know, the power is not in their hands. The power is in your hands as a people, and we've been giving them this power. So now we got to take it back or recognize it. That's the key element, recognize the power. Because you remember back in the 50s, you know, the people actually put fear in the government in the 50s. But then when them 60s came around, it was a whole different story. And that's one thing we got to look about. Look at them 60s, man. I mean, you had so many icons killed during that period of time. So many usurpants, uh, you know, taking your autonomous right, taking your sovereignty right, whatever the case may be. Literally, it was all in them 60s. And that's what we got to realize over the years they have been doing this thing and that's what it what it takes is over the years I mean look at how we eat our food all this food we've been eating all this processed food they tell you it's good one day then all of a sudden this problem is causing cancer it's causing this it's causing it causing diabetes causing this and we still go to that store and buy the crap you know what I'm saying what's what's going on with us psychologically yes they're working they got other don't take me wrong they got all these tools you're talking about TV you're talking about internet you talk Talking about these subliminal messages, you know, this process of school, this environment, this social environment that's actually a structure around us that's keeping us in this process mind to not think for self, to literally ask for, for permission. And the saddest thing we, as parents, we doing this to our children. So they're so when they hear a no, it's like, oh, I'm, my whole life is done. This is this is the process. This is what's going on. This is the results of what we're getting. And we're wondering why the kids are going cuckoo. Don't take me wrong. You have, you know, you have roses growing in between the concrete, as the brother would say. But you, th that happens. You know what I'm saying? Overall, you get a few that's actually, you know, straight up stars. You know what I'm saying? Just straight up stars. Just, you know, that literally succeed through whatever situation it may be. But at the same time, we got to connect. We got to start networking. We got to start really getting together. And I'm in, and people, don't act like I don't contact you or whatever the case may be. I mean, you can contact me via email because I do get a lot of emails. And I sure don't want to get my number out there because I know a whole bunch of people be calling me 24-7. I might call you. I may not. I may email you because I may respond through your email or text and whatever the case may be. But the whole point is, let's start networking. Let's start putting our resources together because I know, as a matter of fact, invite me to your spot. Invite me to your spot. We can network, get some things off, seeing what you got going. That's the key element, getting like-minded people together, really. But the key element is actually getting like-minded people where we have land, where we're taking land. You know what I'm saying? We're literally taking land and running the show, besides the pose, you feel? <laughs> but my point is taking land and start prospering and using it for our own good. You know what I'm saying? We got some cows. We got some, you know, we got meat. We got chickens. We got, you know, the whole nine where we can actually have a self-sustained, that's the key, a self-sustained society. That's the key thing, a village or a community where we can come together and bond together and like I said, not necessarily religious wise. I don't, we're not even trying to hear that. We're not trying to hear all that. The key element is really putting our, t our minds together 
coming as a collective and putting it together and go forward. You know what I'm saying? Building legacies. That's the key element. Building legacies. A lot of folks I have encountered via girlfriends, via friends, via partners, via brothers, whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? People don't see the bigger vision. I may talk, I talk, I've been talking like this for years, man. I've been talking real crazy talk. A lot of people don't comprehend what I'm speaking because the key element is I'm talking about building nations. I'm talking about building countries. I'm talking about building worlds. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, and it may not be in my world, but at the same time, this is what the whole man mentality is. Like I tell people all the time, I've been here. I've been here before and I know that. You know what I'm saying? Just the thinking has been uh, triggered if you want to go there. My thinking has been triggered. So I'm back on my path. What I came here to do and that's the key element. We all on a mission. It's about what part are you playing? That's the key element. I'm not talking about being your leader or none of that issue. That's BS. The key element is really thinking about a leader creating other leaders. That's the key element. A leader creates the other leader. The leader might be sitting back. He might suggest. He might do this. He might do that. But he's the example. And that's the key element. You have to be the example regardless of what situation go down. And it's all about going to get your information. Going to find the research. Going to do the, the necessary research that's needed to be done. And I know this is a little lengthy. But uh, the opportunity, all you YouTube uh, users who's been checking out my site, been going to the site and actually gave me some more usability so I can do more than 15 minutes and I kind of enjoy this because I can you know I don't have no limit where I got to stop and all this other stuff cut part three and four and five so I got that opportunity but at the same time it's all about coming together see we, we all know and it's funny because everybody all know we know love is the universal language we know that right mathematics can be the universal language you know what I'm saying English is not the universal language <laughs> Language in general is not you when you when you really let me break that down. Well, English, different forms of languages is not the universal language. You feel what I'm saying? We can't speak, but love speak to all. Love speak to animals. You know what I'm saying? I'm certain animals. I mean put that out there. <laughs> but at the same time, this is something things we gotta start really comprehending and getting an understanding of. Cause I'm not gonna get anywhere if I don't show no love. You know what I'm saying? So I'm giving you an example. Or I'm giving you, well, yeah, I'm giving you an example. Uh, you know, the love is given to those who love back. You feel me? And your U.S. government don't love you. They don't even have a, they don't even think of you. All they think of you is chattel or uh, they so-called sheep. You know, sheep, that's what they think of you. You know, they think of us as sheep. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to be the shepherd and do what they need to be done, that needs to be done. And if that's moving you out of your so-called house <laughs> or your land, that's what they're going to do. So they can take it over and do what they want to do to it. So these are certain things that's going on that we don't pay attention to. And there's some people that are aware of what's going on. And that's the key element. Finding those people. That's who I'm looking for. Those who are aware, who want to be more aware, come talk to me. Hit me up on YouTube. Let's get together. Let's, let's conversate. Well, you know what I'm saying? Let's conversate. Let's talk about some strategies. Not necessarily talk about strategies, but we're going to show you here in the next couple of weeks. Actually, we got some things. And I have been, as a matter of fact, I've been putting them on a different um, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of the things we've been doing, actually, we've been building certain things, getting some things going. But like I said, we're looking for pre-qualified people. We're not talking no crazy, you know, uh, straight up military, want to kill everybody and all that, that attitude. But we're looking for people who's like-minded. You know what I'm saying? Survivalists really got that mentality, you know, can survive in the woods or whatever the case might be. We're looking for those two. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, no, we ain't talking about no hate. We're talking about coming together community wise, uh, mind wise, mastermind concepts. You know what I'm saying? Go, go. Matter of fact, here's a book. Go check out or read. Go read it. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. You see what I'm saying? Go check that book out. That's one of probably one of the most influential books as far as to me. Yeah, that I have been reading over the years and keep reading it. I read it at least once a year, maybe twice, maybe more than that, some cases. You know what I'm saying? But these are certain books that uh, definitely you can get out there and kind of get your mind right. And always my book, you know, my book. <laughs> How to take possession of your own mind, you know, definitely you can get that right off my um, site, uh, Haru Aman at info, or dot info, you know. 
So you definitely, uh, and some things I've been, like I said, another book I've been going off, uh, Haru's Focus Points, you know, very detailed, orientated, to the point, you know, some of the things I've been doing and things trying to give out, you know, a little philosophy, but at the same time, it's cool to have a team, and that's the cool thing, the team is building, the team is growing. We're starting to get more people to really start taking, uh, you know, taking ownership, taking ownership of the lives, you know what I'm saying, and making things happen. So, with that in mind, I just wanted to leave that, but uh, the key element is really keeping your health right, and if you ain't got your health right, your life won't be right. Everything else will fall out of place. What they say, you know, an organized mind or organized house. Let me say it like that. An organized house is an organized mind, as they would say. But at the same time, you got to keep it organized. You got to keep that mind organized, too, as well. Because the body is one of the main temples you got to keep clean. The main temple you got to keep in shape. The main temple you got to keep on point. And if that's on point, we're asking the right questions. You know what I'm saying? Because the questions are right there. The answers are right here. It's right in front of us 24-7, but we fail to realize it because we're caught up in everybody else's thinking. What do she think of me? What do he think of me? What do this think of me? And that's the saddest thing, how we put ourselves in a bubble and don't even know it. We put ourselves in a bubble. We always relying and thinking what everybody else think of you. I don't really care what y'all think about me. You know what I'm saying? I, that's real. Whatever y'all think, that's what you think. Keep it going. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? That's my motto. Keep it pushing. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got time to be wearing about what you think of me and what you how you look at me and how I should be and how I should present myself and this and that that ain't that ain't that ain't where it's at really where it's at is right up in here that soul as they say that resonance you feel what I'm saying how you feel about yourself inside how I feel about myself inside because when I know myself I understand myself I can relate to myself and I respond on the positive notations or frequencies that literally resonate with me. You see what I'm saying? And, that, and via, this might be a female I'm talking to. You know what I'm saying? A female, whatever the case may be, vibe, and whatever the case may be. And you might not feel my vibe, but I guarantee you, long down the line, when you see Haru putting it down on some things, you're gonna look at this and be like, man, this brother, he was there. He was there, but I failed to realize it and kept it pushing. You know what I'm saying? But on, on that note, it's all love, peace, and happiness. Hotel.